Hello and welcome to Lo-Fi 335. And this should be a pretty quick video because I just came out here realizing that I should probably check my oil catch can. I've learned and thought a lot about installing one. When I finally did, I was like, oh yeah, job well done. But since then, I haven't thought to check it. I can't remember how many miles ago that was. Time blows by fast but I'm pretty sure it was in the fall. Now it is March of 2021. So I figured I might as well see if it's collected much, if anything. I don't know what to expect, like how long it's supposed to be able to go before I should really check up on it. So I guess today we will all figure that out. This is a test to see how much the camera can see me. I will be working right up here. Can you see me, camera? So here is where my catch can is located. Uh, fantastic lighting, I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do not have a fantastic angle to show. Um, I've tried a couple different ones, but I haven't found great visibility. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. Just kidding, I found the perfect perspective, so let's go. I imagine that maybe it would be most ideal to disconnect this whole thing before trying to remove the actual can. I can't reach anything in this damn engine bay. I hate this car so much. I mean, I'm glad it's secured and nothing else. <laughs> All right, guys, I got it. I got it. Let's just not drop it into the engine bay. I'm actually right-handed, so I should probably Switch up my grip. No, left, left would be better here. I can use my right to help. Okay, I either tightened it all the way or loosened it all the way and I'm jammed. So as of right now, I'm pretty confused. I'm gonna go ahead and, ah, uh, yeah, I think I undid it. I'm tired. Okay, disconnected. Gonna lift it out. I have a feeling this will be the most difficult part. I can't even see if there's space to release. It's so close, but I can't really do anything because <laughs> it's jammed. Okay, I don't want to just keep wailing around like an idiot. I'm um, gonna have to see how I may be able to geometrically solve this problem. Honestly, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at because it's not necessary for it to come out. I will show you how much is in there. I've actually got it sitting pretty secure, so here it is. Um, that is what is currently in my catch can. It's not very much, so I'm not gonna go through the hassle of trying to pull the whole thing out. I guess I'm just showing you what I found myself just now. So yeah, remember to check your catch can. It's probably been four to six months since I've installed mine. I am now going to reinstall this before I accidentally do something wrong. So to my hand, it feels like I'm doing lefty loosey to tighten it back on, but it is very much righty tighty. Switching hands. Oh, I am dying here. My fingers are getting absolutely jammed back here, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this part of the intake. Since I did that, it made it much easier to just pull out the catch can itself. So here's a better look. And in the light, not a whole, whole lot. Does not look like something you'd like to drink. So yeah, let's try and figure out how to get this stubborn thing back on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off. Oh, feels so grainy. It feels disgusting. Yeah, this is the stuff you use to wash your hands when you don't have a sink in your garage. Oh, it feels so strange. But yeah, um, apparently you want to make sure you have either water or a towel nearby. Fortunately, I have paper towels. It feels so weird. I can't say it feels good, but it smells pretty good. Definitely gonna run my hands underwater later. But anyway, um, let's finish this video. So it took me a stupid amount of time to figure out how to thread back on that thing. And it prompted me to add this to the end of this video. If you haven't installed your catch can yet, take note of the fact that, at least on the Burger Motorsports one, there is a little wall on one side of the top of the cylinder. 
and you have to make sure that the can reaches up and around that. And you sort of have to wiggle to figure out where it threads in. And it took me quite a while to figure out where that thread was. When I did find it, it screwed on pretty easily. I ended up having to take off my gloves and everything so I could really reliably feel it out. But yeah, that's how you can check your catch can. Maybe not exactly how I did it, but it is nice to know that the car can probably go quite a while before you actually have to check your catch can. You can dispose of the oil at uh, your local auto parts store, I believe. I just poured it in my trash because I'm gonna take out my trash soon. Honestly, that's kind of it. There she is. Everything is all put back together, all buttoned up. I'm sure if you own one of these cars, you may be able to relate when I say, every time I do something like this, where I'm like, oh, it's gonna be simple. I'm just gonna do this real quick and it ends up not being that simple. It makes me never want to touch the car myself again. But um, I am trying to put more of a proactive effort into figuring out how to tinker with it. Um, I'm definitely not going to be doing massive things like changing the oil pan by myself. I recently actually had that done by Bikim over at Continental Motor Works. Go check them out if you're in the Nashville area. But yeah, more content coming soon. Track day is in two weeks. So keep on the lookout for that video. I am lofi underscore 335 on Instagram. Have a good one.